Customers who have used Phoenix Planning and Development's Electronic Plan Review, or EPR, know it's a convenient tool when used properly. You can submit your plans any time of day without an appointment. To ensure your plans are submitted properly and that there are no delays in the review or approval of your plans, follow our top five submittal tips. These tips ensure your plan intake goes smoothly the first time without rejections. First, naming the documents. Customers often do not follow the naming protocols for EPR. That makes it harder for the reviewer to find some of the documents in the submittal. Use three digits starting from 001, starting with the cover sheet, and continue to name the documents in numerical order. Include the sheet number. Include a brief sheet description. Make sure the names are 30 characters or less. In this example, the sheet index matches the plan. There are no names longer than 30 characters. Names 30 characters or longer can cause documents to fail to upload when resubmitted for corrections. When the naming protocols are followed correctly, the reviews go through the process sooner, keeping your project on schedule. Second, put the documents in the right folder. Use the folders that are auto-generated in the system to organize your submittal. Upload your checklists, drawings, supporting documents, and reference drawings in the correct folders. The checklist is for your plan submittal checklist. The drawings folder is for plans to be reviewed for approval. The drawings folder is the only folder that requires individual files. The supporting documents folder includes documents such as calculations, reports, engineering cost estimates, and cut sheets. The reference folder is for approved or reference plan sets, such as the preliminary approved site plan, the grading and drainage plans, stormwater, and landscape plans. Customers often upload everything in one folder, which takes time for the reviewer to separate and organize, and therefore adds time to completing your review. Third, you must leave room for the approval stamp on the cover sheet. Customers often submit plans that look like this. But there's no place for the stamp. Without the stamp, the permit will not be issued. Leave a 4 by 4 inch clear area on the cover sheet for this stamp. Again, this helps your review move efficiently without unnecessary delays. Fourth, upload your plans in landscape orientation. When customers upload in portrait orientation, the reviewer will need to modify it to mark it up. The time to modify several documents delays the review completion. Always upload in landscape orientation. Fifth, make sure you verify your combined plan sets are complete and combined accurately. Files should be uploaded correctly as individual files. Supporting documents, approved and reference plan sets can be combined as individual files in the appropriate order. These tips will ensure you have a successful and efficient electronic plan review, which gets your project off the ground as soon as possible. If you have questions about EPR, go to our website at phoenix.gov pdd, or you can contact the EPR team at 602-534 5933 or epr.support at phoenix.gov.